show that I never, we don't, I don't like television that much. I hate commercials. But there is a show that we found on Netflix. And come to find out, NBC's the one who produced it. Uh, it's called Blacklist. And in Blacklist, uh, I wish I could show you the series or the actual film. But we all know nowadays, you who just kind of frowns on that. And they'll take your video down. Uh, and give you a strike. So that's out. So anyway, uh, it follows these two people. Uh, he's Bennington, and she's Keen, FBI, former FBI, and one of the top ten wanted criminals in the United States. And they go through. It's just a match. And, and people that's reading or watching this, they're going to think, yeah, well, what a host of celebrities. And what a storyline. And none of it can be true. Uh, you know, because they bring up a lot of stuff. And that's what I want to show you today. Is a lot of this stuff they bring up because I'm not picking sides. This isn't about politics, but I'm just going to tell you. The stuff that they bring out now, I was trying to warn people in uh, 2006, 2007, 8, 9. I had a lot of people see me coming around the other way. So I learned to keep my mouth shut. Unless somebody approaches me with something, I ain't going to approach them with nothing. Uh, and I'm blunt. I don't pussyfoot around no more because the time's late. And uh, thank God I probably won't live to see, see it. But I just want to highlight a few things. One thing they haven't touched on yet is don't ask me what bank. It's been years since I learned this. There's an offshore bank that it has to be somewhere around Taiwan or somewhere. But it will not report to the United States who has accounts and how much is in those accounts. They don't want to tax nobody. Only you have to be pretty rich to be there. But the senators and the Congress, I don't know about the vice president or president or anybody for that matter. That I didn't hear that part. If I did, I forgot. They have an offshore account worth trillions and anytime they need money they just go over and say hey I need X number of dollars I'm sure there's a limit but it's neither Democrat or Republican it's both the public don't know about this now, maybe that's where the three trillion dollars 3.9 3. it was three point something trillion dollars that the military was missing and uh, oddly enough, those alleged records were kept in the one part of the Pentagon that was hit on 9-11. And it destroyed all the records. So, and plus everybody was focused on uh, the attacks, which came from within. And uh, we got about to three trees. Somebody brought it up under the Trump administration, but it just come up with him. So, uh, but there was a bunch of, I don't know how many trucks there was, three or four, that when the World Trade Center fell, were filled with gold and it blocked their exit. And supposedly that was a drop in the bucket compared to what went on out. So, with that said, I'm going to stop this, look up this other, and we're going to go with the cabal, the, what was the other one they called? It wasn't the deep state, but it was a 
channel government. I just want to show you something. So not everything you see is a lie. There's a there's a thing. These people have to inform you. They just don't have to come straight out and say it, and they don't have to make it on like a documentary. But they do have to tell the truth at some point in time. Their agendas, etc. This term I'm not sure he used on the show. Uh, he used shadow government, but I don't know about deep state. But I think he did. I know Trump talks about the deep state. And I mean, there's more than enough proof that this exists. Uh, it's a deep state in the United States. Now, there's pages up there that will say there's not a deep state, but you got to remember it. A lot of times the people telling you that are not honest, and they're part of it. Uh, I hear the state has been one of the longest studied topics in political science, sociology, economics. The rise of the new institutionalism in the 70s brought to the forefront the dual nature of the state, both as a venue, a set of rules, which others act and interact, as well as an actor with its own agenda. The new installation institutionalism stands for the contrast to immediately prior to the behavior of revolution, which is focused on society centered explanations for the political outcomes where the state was primarily and solely seen as an arena of interest groups vied for political power. Uh, there's books on it, and if you'll notice, it's got almost five stars, four and a half stars. There's another one. I have a four star rating. The deep state is real, but it might not be what you think. Uh, I like in this article. Uh, also, and so after Trump fired FBI Director James Comey, admitted in June that he had relayed accounts of his bizarre interactions with the president to a friend, who is in turn shared with the New York Times reporter, former Trump campaign manager Corey, I have no idea what that is, appeared on NBC and attacked Comey as part of the deep state. He's everything that's wrong in Washington. It was clever. And it was, it was as clever as it was insidious. Americans might be foggy about what exactly the deep state really is, but Washington knows and know they hate. And right here, uh, that was just more of the deep state. So as you can tell, there is a deep state. And well, you can tell that by just going out there. Uh, what about Israel? I know whenever a country flies its flag in another country, that that generally means that they've conquered. How many times do you see the American flag on one side and the Israel flag on the other? Something to think about. Another term for deep state is shadow government. I did a lot of heat over this years ago. But uh, not, like I say, this isn't political. Both sides are dirty. But here uh, is, you know, the FBI probe, and they probed into Clinton's, and they refer to the shadow government. The shadow government is the same thing as deep state. It's a agenda to take control of the, uh, our country. 
there's a book right here. He got almost five ratings. And there's a bunch of books on it, so it's not safe. This is the only book. Years ago, uh, this website, when it came online, I got to go on up here, and you can find all kinds of stuff on the shadow government. I mean, they, it's just full of it, and it keeps a record of everything said and done from them. The shadow government, a government in waiting that is prepared to take control in response to certain events, especially one made up of leadership and large opposition party in parliament, which would assume control should the ruling party be displaced in elections. A real conspiracy theorized body of individuals who exercise power behind the scenes instead of the country's organization of public figureheads, such as state within the state or deep state. Uh, former BA secretary uh, warns about David Chukin, or his name is David Chukin, speaks out about what he calls the shadow government under Trump. So there's, I mean, there's tons of it. And I'll tell you a little while I'll wait till I get to that part. If I'm not, yeah, I've already went past it. At the bottom, it'll show Hillary Clinton, but it mentions all these people that you're going up against. Um, and Hillary Clinton didn't want to them. There's a reason for that. Washington, D.C. is not, and I repeat, not part of the United States. So when a senator or a congressman or a president or vice president is elected, they fall under diplomatic immunity. That's why none of these people go to prison. If they were a state or part of Virginia, they would fall under United States law, and then you could prosecute. But as it is, they're not eligible. The only other two places that are their own little country residing inside of another country is London, which is not part of England, and the Vatican which is not part of, I think it's in Italy, uh, wherever they're at. It's, they're separate from their uh, country. This is uh, something somebody's got released, I guess, under the Freedom of Information Act. And it goes through all kinds of jail. And it's from the CIA. President Ford, you know what's funny, when he went in, I liked him, and I liked him for a long time, right up until I seen all the crap he did. He is the devil. Unless he's still die, dead, then he's down there with the devil. So that's that. Okay, on blacklist, uh, the shadow government's also known as the cabal. There's more than one cabal, though. There's several cabals. Uh, because you got to know what the definition of the cabal is. Uh, and a cabal is a group of people united in some close design, usually to promote their own private views or, or interest in an ideology, state, or other community often intrigued and usually be house behest, I guess, denounced to those outside their group. The use of the term usually has negative connotations, conspiracy and secrets. And I'm going to let you read this for yourself. Uh, that way I can't get in trouble as much. But right there is what you need to read. Pause it and read it. It'll teach you a lot. Uh, the Kabbalah, or the Kabbalah, and 
much if I can, or else I'll have another night. And I'm going to let you, let you read this for yourself. Uh, that way I can't get in trouble as much. Right there's what you need to read. Pause it and read it. It'll teach you a lot. Uh, the cabal, or the cabal, and stuff like that, or also they have another name. There's a plethora of information, uh, which basically is Illuminati is one of the cabals, if not the cabal, uh, that's in control. But you know, finding information on that is not hard whatsoever. Uh, I mean, you'll, you'll uh, read, first thing you'll read is Adam Weissau. He was the founder, which he was. Uh, and it was French. They believed they were illuminated. If you want to learn a lot about them, Fritz Springmeier. They he wrote a book and it pissed off the bad damn prison. He was a uh, professor, I think, teacher or professor at, in Virginia. They revoked his uh, license to teach anymore. Bush talked, or Trump talks about him. Bush is one. Uh, so these are the five groups that are the most secret ever was the Knights Templar, the Freemasons, Skull and Bones, and Bilderberg. They can all be called the New World Order, too. There's a book, Henry Macklow, which is, he's good, too, on that. Oh, I'm naughty. Uh, but Fritz Springmeier, he's the one that made him mad enough to arrest him. He goes through the bloodlines. That was Astor. Bundy was a one of their bloodlines. So anyway, we get back to Blacklist. Oh yeah, typed in Blacklisted. But that's fine because that's here one of the places I get my news at. Censored.news, I think, in the name of uh, the other one. I've got a direct link to it. Uh, You should really watch that show. A lot of that crap that's going on in that show, I'm not saying that they're giving the real accounts, but it really does happen. And it's real. So, see you later. <laughs>